Today we're talking watches by Nick. You ask questions and I answer them. Kind of like Gary Vee, but it's like for watches. Boom, watch it. What's up, watch geeks? Welcome to episode 18 of Ask TNH. It is a fucking bullish week out there. Uh, uh, recently, we're doing all this content, and it is absolutely hectic as shit. I have to thank you all. Uh, we got so many emails from people looking to contribute to the site, and uh, I mean, it was way better than the out, uh, outcome we expected, but uh, I, it was overwhelming. It definitely was. Um, and for everyone, once again, I thank you all for reaching out. Obviously, we couldn't take all the writers, but we, we are in time going to continue expanding. If you ever have a piece of content you want to send us, please email it out way. Uh, we're not actively accepting people right now, but we absolutely will keep you in the queue. Uh, so thank you for making me really, really busy this week. Uh, further, you guys weren't the only people making me busy, uh, but Nick Harris from Watches by Nick uh, shot me an email. Tremendous guy from what it seems, uh, from what I got. Um, and basically he said, hey, Chris, love your series. Um, I'd like your thoughts on my watches. And I was like, okay, uh, I'm not going to promise you what my thoughts are. I'm not even going to Google your name, but, uh, but you can you know, tell me about your company and I will, uh, I'll give you a review. Um, so he said, okay, sounds good. And this was no strings attached. I, I could have ripped him apart. Uh, and he took the risk there by saying, yeah, he was confident enough in his brand and his product and the value he brings, uh, even knowing on the dimensions in which we criticize and said, all right, go for it blindly. Uh, and I really appreciate the, the, the kind of the, 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 the courage or the, I don't know, whatever it may be that it took for him to kind of do that, the confidence in his own brand. I recommend you all have confidence in your own personal brand on a really uh, philosophical level. Uh, anyway, I got the watch uh, from Nick. He actually offered to send me one, which is right here. Can you get that? So it's a super cool watch. Um, let's, let's, let's kind of start with the design. Uh, it's like a field, it's a field design, right? It's very reminiscent of like a vintage Ben Ross uh, from like Vietnam or something like that. Uh, but it's, it doesn't end there. I mean, the case is that the, the, the millimeter is, what is it? A 37 millimeter case, uh, which is, I mean, it fits really well on my, on my wrist, even though I kind of have a little bit of, you know, girly, uh, girly-ish or girly wrists. Um, and I really enjoyed wearing it. Uh, further, uh, with the design, the dial is appropriate uh, as it is so reminiscent of, you know, kind of history and, and kind of historical pieces. But really where, I mean, he totally wins me over is in this case engraving. So, this, I mean, he, Nick Harris literally sits down with each case and hand engraves it. Uh, what? But when I, when I first read it, I said, oh, that's pretty cool, but I kind of glanced over it. And I looked back and I was like, oh, he must laser it or something like that. You know what I mean? I, 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 didn't, I totally did not comprehend uh, that he was actually doing it himself. And it was, I mean, it was, it was, it was totally, totally tremendous. Um, so with that, I was immediately interested. And actually, the photos were cool on the website. But, I mean, the photos, do they ever really do the thing or the, the kind of watch or whatever it is, justice? No. Uh, and they were great. But then I got it in person. I wear... Uh, my vintage date just and my vintage uh, JLC military watch all the time. These are two small watches, very conservative. Uh, nothing frilly about them, really. And there's nothing frilly about this either, but a hand engraved watch is not something you see at all very often, particularly on a, on a guy, right? But when I saw it, it was unbelievable. I mean, really, really tremendous. Anything, I put, I put it on a, 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 a cordovan strap, but uh, I mean, on a NATO, it looked to me, even, even, you know, even better. It kind of had this really rough, but still kind of like rough, but really well executed kind of thing, really strategically um, designed. That's, that's, that's really how I feel about it. Uh, it was almost like oxymoronic in like a really weird way. I feel as far as design to get a little, you know, a little up there that like Ralph Lauren would really dig this watch because yeah, it does hold the whole like utility very strongly, but it has that extra level of interest, right? It peaks more, uh, more, more of your attention. This watch deserves more attention than other designs. It, 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 it's that simple. Uh, moving on to, you know, build and, and, and quality. He's using a, a Seiko, what is it, 7, uh, 726C, or so, I forget the movement. It, 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 it's on the back of the watch. Uh, but it's a Seiko movement. It's an absolute workhorse caliber. To me, it was the perfect movement he could have used. It's an automatic with a 48-hour power reserve. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing to complain about. It's perfect. You know, I mean, is there finishing? No, of course not. Not the point. The point isn't the finishing of the movement. He's not a decorator. 
the point is the hand engraved case. You know, the design that, and the tension he put into that. Uh, so as far as the movement, he absolutely scored a home run. He could have put a quartz movement in, but he didn't. Uh, and, and then I really appreciated the kind of discerning uh, process that went into choosing this movement. Although it is a popular movement, it's not this obscure movement, but it really did uh, go, go far on the dollar for dollar uh, value. Finally, to establish the value in the end of the game, this watch is like 615 bucks. Are you kidding me? I almost want to tell him from like a business perspective, dude, you're nuts. I mean, $650, I mean, this watch to me, I would give this a perfect review at 1000 I, 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 I really would, um, because I mean, I love Autodromo, and I gave them a great review at 1000 and I would absolutely give, uh, give this guy, uh, give, give Nick Harris at Watches by Nick a tremendous review at $1,000. At 615 650 it's unbelievable. It really is. Wrong. And this watch isn't everyone's, you know, cup of tea because it's not. I mean, it, it is. It does require some sort of um, uh, a taste, right? It, you do kind of have to be into that kind of thing and experimenting in that way. But if you are into it, I mean, you're, you're basically stealing this watch from this guy. What other companies are giving you that level of finishing time and their attention for six hundred and fifteen dollars? You're not. They're just not. Uh, any, anywhere you go, you're kind of getting, you know, as far as case finishing, uh, you're getting robbed. So I really appreciated, you know, looking at this watch. And, and all day, I found myself kind of looking at the case. Uh, and it was really, you know, it was, it was just awesome. There's nothing else to say, really. Uh, great value, great design, um, you know, tremendous movement, nothing wrong with it. It was perfect. It can be serviced by any watchmaker ever. And, and that's it. I have to say that as far as value prop, as far as bringing the most to the consumer, like I try to do, Nick Harris absolutely embodies that. Uh, and he took a risk for me to review his watch because you guys know how many f***ing F-bombs I'll drop and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's it. Watches by Nick. Thank you guys for watching episode 18 of Ask TNH. Um, I really, I really enjoyed this one. I, I like, I like, I like finding good things sometimes. You know, I'm doing Ridiculing is awesome because um, it's fun to read and it's fun to, to write and to speak. Uh, but if we can find a really tremendous brand, it's really my pleasure. I mean, check the link down below to Watches by Nick. I really, need to really go over there and check it out. I'm not saying buy a watch right now, but I'm saying really consider it uh, and, and send it to a friend. Um, I don't know. This sounds like a paid promotion. It really does, but it's so not. I mean, I think like so many of these companies would pay me not to say the shit I say about them. And uh, it, it's really, I think what you put out there uh, as far as content is what I'm going to give you back. If it's great, you're going to get great shit back. And if you're putting the shit out there, I'm going to call you out. And, uh, and Nick Harris at Watches by Nick is putting some tremendous stuff out there. So check them out.